Your customers are going to lie to you. The guys on your crew are going to lie to you. Sometimes the people that supply you materials are going to lie to you. How can you tell when they're lying to you? There's a lot of articles, a lot of videos, there's a lot of information out there about liars in the workplace, okay? I had the chance to interview Carol Kinsey Goldman and she wrote The Silent Language of Leaders and she wrote another book, How to Spot a Liar in the Workplace. And after chit-chatting with her for a while, I think I got some insight for you guys. One of the things that we got to establish right away is a baseline behavior. So what you really want to do, if you want to tell if someone's lying to you, you've got to understand they're not going to have beady eyes or squinty eyes. There's not going to be any telltale signs where they're flopping their arms up or down or doing anything in particular. But what you want to do is you want to talk to them. You want to engage them in a conversation and monitor how they act, how their body acts, the tone of their voice while they're just having a normal conversation with you. Maybe they're talking about the weather or their latest sports or whatever, anything that is a non-controversial subject, okay? Get that baseline behavior established because when a person lies to you, they become uncomfortable. Fact of the matter is, they can't stop that. Lying to someone makes you uncomfortable. That's just the way we're built, okay? And so what you look for are the subtle changes, the little nuances that they're going to change when they lie to you. There's a couple things that you may notice. You may notice a rise in their voice while they're lying to you. Another thing is a stalling tactic. So if you ask your customer or you ask one of the guys on your crew a question and they don't answer you right away or they stall or they repeat the question, what they're trying to do is give themselves time to come up with an answer. If they do that, that's your first indicator something is, is going on. And so you want to really make sure that you understand and pay attention to everything they say after the fact. Another thing that they may do that is an indicator that there might be an issue is rubbing their hands together. If they rub their hands together, now they're not going to do the ha 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 thing. They're not going to do that. But it's just one of those things where maybe while they're talking to you, they do something like this. That means they're trying to come up with an answer. Also, truth is simple and to the point. Don't forget that. When you're telling someone the truth, there's your answer. When you're telling someone a lie, you have to concoct something and then you have to remember what the hell it is you're talking about. Now you need to understand yourself for a moment. We tend to want to believe people that we like. We tend to like people that are like us. So if you find somebody and they're a lot like you and you have a lot of common interests and commonality, you're gonna wanna believe what they say, even when they're lying right to you. Even when they're holding up a red shovel and telling you it's yellow, you're gonna wanna believe them because you like them. You gotta get over that crap. That's gonna hold you back. Telling who's lying to you isn't black and white. It isn't a science that is perfected, but there are techniques that you can pick up on. Remember, establish that baseline. That is what you're looking for. Any deviation from that, any rise in the, bo in the pitch of your voice, anything like that is gonna be indicators that something is up. The stalker stare. What does that mean? Sometimes, you guys, you're gonna come across a person that is such a good liar. There's, they've got it down so much that instead of avoiding eye contact, which is typical when you're lying, you kind of tend to look away or you're thinking and you're saying something and you can't make up. Another really good sign that someone could possibly be lying to you is if they, there's basically four indicators and these aren't universal, these aren't ad adamant, but if you see all four, there's a really good chance they're telling, they're talking shit to you. Rubbing the hands we, co we covered, if they cross their arms when they're talking to you, now this could also mean they're cold, but this is definitely a sign that they're shutting off their body to whatever it is you're saying, and they're protecting themselves from whatever it is they're saying. If they lean back while, you're ta while they're talking to you or you're talking to them, another great indicator that a lie is either about to be told or they're telling a lie. So if they go back like this, 
And then the last one is if they're rubbing their face. So if they're rubbing their face, rubbing their hands, doing anything like this while you're talking to them, they're stalling when you're talking to them, they can't come up with short, simple answers, guess what, folks? The shit's getting deep. You better put your waders on. This doesn't come from me. I've studied body language for years. I love studying body language. This comes from Carol Kinsey Goldman, who wrote the book on it, How to Spot Liars in the Workplace. There's a lot of information floating around out there. I wanted to get this to you because I had the chance to talk to her, and I think this is the most accurate, up-to-date information that you can get. So look for those four indicators. One of the things that I asked that I wanted to dispel a myth on was rubbing the back of the neck. To me, that always meant that, hey, you know what? I think somebody's lying to me. If they're talking to me and they can't look at me, they're rubbing the back of the neck. Really what it means is they have a question. It's not they're lying. It's that they're uncomfortable. They have something they want to bring up to you. They don't know how to do it. And this is a way to soothe themselves. So a lot of fun things that you can learn out there. And I know we're, we've covered body language before, but this is something that I just can't stress enough how important it is to really drive this stuff home. When you get a chance, go check out her website, Carol Kinsey Goldman. Pick up one of her books. I highly recommend it. And as always, if you have questions, guess what? I love hearing from you guys. I absolutely love talking to you guys. I love emailing. I love just communicating with you guys. Everything you send me, I read. So get a comment. Put it down below, subscribe, share, do whatever you can. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, a great week, and I hope this stuff is helping you out, doing the best I can. Have a good one, you guys.